All right, what's going on, guys? Today we are watching Fire Force Season 2, Episode 17. Just before the start of the episode, I would just like to say that I am switching to clipped reactions on my um, uploads for the most part, I think. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to do it on all of the episodes that I'm uploading. Um, for the future, I don't know whether I'll upload full-time reactions again or not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the me because of this is because... Um, it, the kind of workload just kind of been become too much um, somewhat. Uh, honestly, because the render times just take so long on full-time reactions. So I've decided to switch over to this. This doesn't mean full-time reactions are completely written out of the picture because the full-time reactions will still be saved um, for the future if people want to see the full-time reactions as well. I could possibly upload those to like an external like sharing website like Dropbox or Mega. So that's all I really had to say for the start of the episode. So without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. Boys be weak. Fire rat. Charon's cool, man. How we can take that shit on. God damn. Oh my god. Parents do be like this, Jesus. Oh God. Oh, he's becoming like a soulless puppet. Jesus. This kid is strong. 500 kilometers. What? Bro, it's going to make another cataclysm. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's no point. There's no point in it anymore. Shinra. Do something. This kid is insanely strong for someone his age. There's no way Karen's gonna. Oh my god! Karen's insane. Go, go! Unbelievable. Yeah, no shit. He shouldn't have to clean up this kind of mess. My God. How to raise good children. Hmm. Come on, you can do this, bro. What a tank. Unreal. <laughs> Yo. Did you just shoot that shit at the moon? Is he going to blow up the moon? <laughs> it's... Karen, you're insane. Oh. Unreal. How are you not dead, bro? What is Karen going to do right now? Oh, Karen is going to go beast mode too. You've been able to do that all along? Are you joking? Oh my god. Shinra, you need to step it up. Karen and Kuruno are going ham this episode. That sword.
They just slice them in half. Oh. Holy shit, this is a good episode. Coroner, as much as it would be a good idea to finish this now, this kid needs saving. He... He can't just be finished like this. Someone needs to save him and just let him know that he doesn't have to do everything by himself. You don't have to do it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's saying... He's gotta be saying that when you're an adult, if you become stronger, you are gonna be lethal. What is the big rush? While well, you can. I mean, he's saying it a completely different way, but... Be a child where you can be a child. You don't have to be strong yet. And he's saying it in a current way. But it's still in a good way, I guess, in this situation. Get him out of there. Yeah, man. <laughs> sure. Yeah, if this works, it works. Is he about to kick him? Shit, okay. Damn, I didn't I didn't expect for Nataku to be taken in by Hajime. She got a creepy face. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, at least it didn't blow up the moon. Yeah, that's true. It would seem like it. True. This still, this still doesn't seem like there's much freedom. I fucking big corporations like this. I don't know, I still feel like he's lying. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, what up? What up, Vulcan? Oh, that's a nice dream, Vulcan. I would like to see that. I don't understand how solar power doesn't just fucking work in this world. Why not just use solar power? What is up with this dude's eyes? Oh. Vulcan's such a badass. Who's the guy in the hoodie? Was it Arthur? Oh. The eight fish Shinra's protectors. Oh. Oh, so they're not doing it for the money. He really just wants to save people. Look at him, he's changed so much since he's heard this is uh, this uh, this idea. Damn right, Vulcan. This is quite the power up. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Weird relationship, but it's nice. Wow, that was a good episode. That was actually a really good episode. I wasn't expecting the outcome, but seeing how seeing Kurino as Natsuku's um protector and then seeing the ape being basically named as Shinra's protector it's just that's just a really nice feeling that I didn't really grasp before um Charon this episode was insane Charon and Kurono actually um they they took the spotlight 
Charon especially, he would everybody in that vicinity in that city would have been dead without him. He has such insane power. I don't even understand it. Um, really, 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 really good episode. I'm looking forward to what's to come now. And um, I think the last couple of episodes had been sort of slow in my opinion. Um, I don't know how what everybody else thinks about that, but this episode was really, really good, and I'm excited to uh, to see what comes of the next arc now um so yeah anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i certainly did and i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction thank you guys so much for watching have a nice rest of your day and peace out